Tap into your why and why are you an artist? I was always in search for something because I never found my true passion. Your challenge is to use architecture as inspiration to paint what lies beyond the threshold. I'm a little nervous about this challenge. I don't ever paint architecture. <laughs> I feel like I see different things than other people see. You get a different outlook on life. It's so precious and I don't want to waste a moment of it. I don't know how I can fix that. Mm. I feel lucky because it could really turn bad. I think you could get a lot more done in that amount of time. <laughs> oh, it's hard. I didn't realize how much my walls were up. So before the contest started, you put marks on your canvas that would help you draw it. We may be cat up. It has other plans for me. Unfortunately, it's time for you to go and in your overalls. Bye. Ava, I know, has a very good heart. I've let you down, I know. Unfortunately, in a competition, we're under the microscope, everything we do. I think she just had a moment of self-doubt, and I know that she really struggles with that, of feeling that maybe she's not good enough, that she's, you know, one of the weaker artists here, which is totally, you know, the opposite. Going back to work, to the bank, working seven to five, <laughs> every single day. I'm really proud of her for coming forward. That's a really scary thing to do. One of the best attributes to someone's character is when you're willing to lay down your life for another. It was always two different things in my mind. I want it, I want to stay, but I don't want to see another girl go out. Uh, I want to change my life, but I also am afraid to change my life. She came forward and I think she's, she's just a better person for it. You know, she basically eliminated herself. So I think that was very honorable of her to do that. Tarana has left the challenge due to personal reasons. And while it's very sad and very unfortunate that she decided to leave, you know, the challenge must go on. I commend you all for staying here and for staying in the competition because it's not easy. Art is incredibly personal and it pulls out sometimes deep things within you that forces you to heal from it. Am I going to Spain after this? Going to do salsa, making things that make me very happy about myself because I don't feel happy at this moment. <sighs> Tarana was my friend, I loved her. And I still love her, but I'm really sad she's gone. And But you know, you have to focus and keep the, the focus on the competition. So this is what I'm doing. So in light of the circumstances of Toronto leaving, uh, I have a surprise for you. Something that we've been keeping secret, and that is that once you get eliminated, your chance isn't over. All the contestants who've been eliminated will still have a shot and a redemption challenge at the end of the season, okay? And we actually have the contestants here who've been eliminated to wish you all luck. So contestants, come on in. With the redemption challenge, each person who is still here is able to have another chance. Anyone really could win this. And so I think that makes it exciting. I think they're all incredible artists. I'm so glad that now we were able to kind of throw this other twist that we had planned all along and now we're able to share it with everyone. And I think it really just boosted everyone's spirits and they realize that they still have a second chance. So what you don't know is that even though they've been eliminated, these artists have been practicing throughout each of the challenges. So I've been telling them what the challenge is, they've been going through it, and even though they're not scored or judged, they're still getting the experience and they're still getting the practice throughout it. So from here on out, they will be here with us doing the challenges in a separate location, not being judged, but being included in the challenges. So that way they will have a fair shot at the redemption challenge and a fair shot at the end to win the $25,000 prize as well. keeps a fire in your gut to want to just get back in. 
it's a heavy feeling. If I fail, it's over, you know? Knowing that there's always a second chance is refreshing. Even if you're eliminated, you still have to prove yourself. So I feel like it's, it might even be more pressure. I'm really excited to see them have a shot to get back into the competition. I also really like the idea that if I were to get eliminated, that I would have an opportunity to get back in and um, you know, just get, have one last hurrah at the end. All right, artists, so we've brought you here to this beautiful beach, Aya Paraskevi. Your challenge today is to create a painting that's inspired by the sea. So the theme of the challenge is transformation. At some point, every artist must face what lies beneath them. And we've brought you here to this beautiful beach because the waves will wash away that which needs to be taken from you in order for your inner light to be shown. You all are here because you have a light inside of you. You have beauty inside of you and the world must see it. Today, your challenge is to create a painting that's inspired by the sea in whatever shape or form that inspires you. The challenge is open-ended. We want to see your unique voice shine through. All the artists that are left in this competition really deserve to be here. And I am very excited to see how they continue to push themselves and really stretch their abilities. All right, are you ready for today's challenge? Yes! Okay, your challenge begins in three, two, one, go! Come out. I passed by my box. <laughs> Four hours on the beach. The elements will definitely come into play in this challenge. The wind will be a factor. The sand will be a factor. Good luck, ladies. I really have been putting my all in every single challenge, no matter the physical difficulties, no matter the personal setbacks that I've had. Anna, it was me. I'm sorry. Uh, so it's sorry. It's fine. It's fine. I got a dot. <laughs> I got a big purple dot. I got a purple dot. My painting. I'm so sorry. I'm a win because of it. Yeah, you are. <laughs> right in the freaking middle. Oh I apologize. Where the focal point's not supposed to be. Incredibly sorry. <laughs> At first it's like, oh, okay, butterfly. Like you're just thinking of like the basic things. And then I was like, no, like what would I do in my art when I'm thinking of transformation? You're lucky we've collaborated before. I feel like I'm in the middle of finding something or searching for something and I'm not there yet. Yeah. I feel like everyone's, of course, dealing with it, but it's hard to be away from your loved ones. I'm really happy that he's coming. Uh, I've missed him. I'm hoping that I'll get a little bit more rest and be a little bit more focused together with him. I hope it's going to help me. It's a really true test to see what is inside of an artist and how adaptable they could be. Wow. Are those all bees? And able to really function and create in a lot of different circumstances. I love painting in warm weather on the beach. It was awesome hearing all the waves. I kept having ants biting me <laughs> on the legs. I don't know if they'd be able to hear it in the audio, but I was like, gosh dang it, oh. <laughs> It was so nice painting on the beach. Painting and being on the beach are basically my two favorite things. I'd say that it's pretty much the life I was made for. I didn't use a ton of spray paint before coming on this competition and I'm like loving it. Is it because I'm so tan? Actually, am I right? I want to see my first interview versus this one and watch my color story. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
With him, I feel very loved. I think we went through lots of transformations together, a lot of drama and things uh, that are still not solved, but we can't solve them. So sometimes it's just, it is what it is. You stay healthy and happy together and let go of what you can't solve in this moment. I started getting tattoos when I was 19. So the first one I ever got, it says, he will bring beauty from the pain, which I feel like it's a little emo sounding for me now, but I love that I got that because it's true. It was sort of like me just believing that something good was coming. And obviously it has, but at the time I didn't know. And a lot of the contestants that have been eliminated, they have been practicing. If I get eliminated, I mean, I'm gonna be right there with them. So no one's coming in from being eliminated, like rusty or anything. Like everyone's coming in super fresh and ready to, to go. So I think if anything, it's like even more to, to watch out for. <laughs> but it's exciting, I'm excited about it. These artists are normally in the comforts of their studio with really fantastic lighting, a big giant easel, large canvases, all their favorite brushes, all these tools that they're very familiar with. If they create a bad piece, rarely do people even see it. That just kind of gets painted over or pushed to the side. Many times in my studio, I work like on five or six painting at the same time. So that makes a difference for sure because I'm able to not overthink my every move I make. It's actually my first time painting on the bridge. So it's super cool, the view is awesome. This is what's difficult for me, I think, working on one painting at a time. A lot of these artists, like Nicolette or Melissa, I know Anna, many of these artists spend up to 20, 40 hours on a painting and it might take them two weeks to develop it. They might be working on their source material for you know, several days and that's how they get that quality of work. And we are putting them you know, in these positions where they're painting in the wind. I'm battling the elements, but <laughs> um, my paint's drying super fast, so it gets kind of annoying. And, um... and this is happening day after day after day. So, in the creative sense, this is a very, it's much more difficult and, and grueling, I think, than the average person may realize. And definitely coming in today with a much different mindset and um, not so negative. And uh, yeah, having fun with uh, all the contestants here. Feeling good on time. I, I'm enjoying the ocean breeze. I've gotten some sand in my painting. I have used some, some pine cones to roll in some texture and even a sea sponge too. So it's been fun. I do. I enjoy challenges because it, it pushes me. How do you get your paintings so in proportion? I have been drawing since I was about four years old. So I think it just comes from lots and lots of time behind the pencil, lots of time behind the paintbrush. You start to get a confidence that allows you to get your painting to form all at once. Transformation was actually a really cool theme to have because my work already follows that theme currently. So it was nice to kind of think of a different way of going about it. Right now I'm a little frustrated because I've got some cross, cross out of the girl going on right now. So I'm trying to fix proportions. <laughs> and it's very hard to see my girl on the reflection of the phone, so. But I actually really like this piece and I think it's gonna come together really good. I got the skull with the roses, um, and for me, that was like life coming from death. It's in the ugly phase right now. Which my paintings always have like a really strong ugly phase. Then next I got the caterpillar to the butterfly, which was, I like the idea of transformation. My tattoos sort of prophesied my future, and I could see them as like markers. I don't feel like I'm in the best flow but I think it'll be fine. I hope. I just wanted to have some 
things flowing, uh, just like starting with the sea and starting with the waves. And so I just took some uh, flow acrylics and I just let it drip. And so the, the start was actually pretty slow because I, that's the only thing I did and then it had to dry. I don't know where it's going. It's kind of messy still, but I'm trying some new things to speed up the process. I feel I don't have time to feel my way through a painting here. So I, I feel so rushed. So I, I don't feel like I can paint how I normally do. We will see. I still have time. I don't like being a judge. Usually I'm very competitive and I like things where there's winners and losers. And in this case, I don't want there to be any losers and I want them all to win, which is really not me. And I feel like I just am seeing how hard they're trying and how they're putting their whole heart into this. Reality is all these people will be voted out eventually until there's only two left. So to have this redemption and to have another chance at this shot of winning the Outstanding Artist, I think everyone's just so excited about that. And I just love that whole story and message of everyone really deserves a second chance. Hi, Nicolette. Hi, Joan. I'm just going around talking with each artist for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. I have two tattoos. The first I got when I... I was 19, I was living in Ecuador. Um, and I just wanted a tattoo and it's a butterfly, again, <laughs> with a flower. Because when I went to Ecuador, that was a huge, huge transformation process for me. I'll just say a little bit about your piece and you can, you can take it or leave it. The background, the colors, the atmosphere is just really jazzy and wild and, and I love it with the time that you do have, make sure the figure, she's a little down right here. Mm -hmm. And so I would just say, if you could somehow, even contemplation is good. It's very good to have, but you wanna just lighten the mood just a little. And I love the, the stripe of atmosphere coming across, that's very stylish. Nice. Like this? Yeah, I love that. But I love the textures. Again, the thick paint, that's very wild. Keep that thickness of the paint going. Yeah, <laughs> that was my goal. <laughs> and we'll see what happens with the, the gold. The second one, I also got in Ecuador, but four years later. It's a hummingbird. It has like a, a pocket watch and uh, it has no time on it. And when I got the tattoo, I didn't really know why, but I always have like issues with time. I always, Time is going too fast. I always feel so slow in life. So that's the same issue here. I feel so slow in painting. And um, yeah, so it fits me perfect. Hey, Katrina. Hi, John. <laughs> it's looking really excellent. As I'm studying it, I notice you have a lot of atmosphere, dreamy imagery happening and are you taking all the risks? Are you, are you going for it big time? <laughs> well, pushing um, the limits. I'm trying. <laughs> I still need to work on uh, this part here, which is going to be a uh, shell with a pearl, and then I'm going to do oh. some light effects. So. Oh, I see. From the source. Yeah. There's another part to the story coming through. Yeah. Okay. I feel that I'm gonna be like a speed painter when I get back. <laughs> I'm gonna be painting so damn fast. It's like <laughs> just whipping out paintings all day long, you know? And I definitely feel that I'll be so thankful for my shady studio. <laughs> it's still a little bit messy. It's coming along, but make sure to use your time wisely. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and get some um, variation in rush work. Okay. So far, you're, you're doing it. Just maybe a little more thick paint, a little more thick. Um, in the forefront, okay. Thank you. When you talked about transformation and inspired by the sea, it was just like, boom, I just knew it. <laughs> just because a dream I had uh, in my early 30s when I was just st uh, going through depression, and every night I would dream that I was drowning and I would just be in the bottom of the sea 
And each night I would dream this dream and I would just would wake up and I would feel so heavy hearted. And one night the dream continued and I saw this beautiful woman in the water. She appeared in the water before me like a sea goddess or a messenger. And she said, it's time to stop hiding in the shadows. It's time to shine your light. It was a, a huge um, breaking point in my life and just the start of a, an enormous transformation. All right, Tanya. It is looking jazzy and fresh <laughs> and fly. Here we are kind of under pressure and seeing everyone that is doing so great. So yeah, the pressure is on for sure. As I was setting your work here and I noticed the addition of gold leaf, you're handling that very beautifully there. And I love the textures and I love the variation of paint marks. Super beautiful. Definitely when I became an artist, because that was a big transformation for me. My whole life changed and I had to experience a lot of things I never thought I would experience, like being in the gallery, uh, having to um, talk more about myself. It's not something I like to do, but I push myself to do it. Thank you. I want to see something get resolved with the shoulder, there? And the dolphins, yes. And I I don't want to say exactly what it is because I just want to see what you come up with. I just want to see the dolphins make sense in the space as her hair travels in clouds. And, mm -hmm. um, I have faith in you. Cool, thank you. And get that other dolphin glowing. Yeah, I will. With oils, I think I'll do that. You're you going on to oils next? No, not now, but... In the last hour, probably. In the last hour, yeah. okay. And just watch the sand addition. It'll just add textures. Don't be worried about the sand. <laughs> yeah. Cool, thank you. I feel I'm still in a transformation, honestly, to become the, the artist I want to be in my life. Hi, Jessie. Hi. Are you getting into it? I, I was so into it, and right now I'm struggling with these eyes, mm. and I'm having trouble figuring it out. Like I've transformed so much, people don't even know what I used to be like. Well, the design is excellent. Love the colors, the shapes, everything's happening. The surfer girl necklace down this way, that's the only thing I'm seeing. Oh, it's a collar. Like transformation is such a big part of my story and like where I've come. And then I think what I give other people is transforming mindsets from what I've, the breakthrough I've gotten, I can kind of see into them and help with. Keep thinking about the thickness of paint and brush marks and just adding these new elements as you're getting inspired from the raging sea here. I did a series of paintings where I like split the face in the middle and half of it's painted and then half of it's like graphic. And to me, that speaks transformation. It's like, it's like a developing story. And so I kind of wanted to do that in a new way. Do you think these are... I can't figure out why she looks cross-eyed. Well, a lot of times when you stand, you go far back, your mind will it. tell you exactly where each eye should be, and it's, it's such a fragile spot. Yeah. And it's a very important spot. But a lot of times a painting of a figure staring straight at the viewer can be a challenging thing. If you nail it just right, it will be beautiful there. Okay, thanks. All right, well, I'm gonna keep going. I want to keep everything rough, and by the end, I want this very refined and realistic. That's my, maybe not rough, but uh, you know, wild. And it seems like a new one for you. It's very nice to see, push the limits there. Yeah. Cool, thank you. It's been so fun getting a chance to see how some of my favorite artists do some of their really cool techniques. Sabrina, hey John, how you feeling about the piece today? Uh, it, I feel fine. It uh, started out a little quick. Now it's slowing down a bit, so I'm trying to kind of like make decisions that in the moment. I'm about fleshing this area out a little bit and then letting it fade back. So that's what I'm working on right now is really beefing up the shadows and uh, 
cools and then later the warms and highlights there. It really helps you relax. And it also helps take the pressure off of thinking, oh my goodness, if I make one bad painting or if I have one bad painting day, um, that could be the end of it. So if you, have, if, you just, if you just know that there's a second chance, it takes the pressure off a little bit. Okay, you got a plan. That's good going forward there. I love the contrast, the shading and the, the space behind and space up close. Now, and I also love the design of it going, going upwards, kind of surrealism touch there. With the graffiti writing, if you can make it a little more bold, yeah, a little more wild, then you can tone it back down with more special effects. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, you guys are, good. you really are handling the elements here so nice and that's good to see. Is the sea inspiring you? Uh, yes, it is. With the crashing. Yeah, mostly with the sound. I don't even get to look mm -hmm. up at it very often. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much. You got it. Keep on going. Okay. If I make a bad painting, it's okay. There's always a chance to make another painting. So I think it's very true to how we, how we should have a mindset in our studio. Um, so the Redemption Challenge, I think, is very helpful in a lot of ways. All right, Brie, I love it so far. Very, very moody and interesting. Thank you. I would say all your years of training are paying off. <laughs> this Thanks. time when I was drawing out the hand, it went a little bit better than my last painting when I drew the hand over like four times. So I chose to do another source at a hand because I know that's what I need to work on. So I wanted to grow in that. It's a beautiful day. The progression of the abstract elements in addition to the touch of realism it is working and I wanna see it just really, really come to life. We're fine. Out of there with some, some more special effects. Okay. This was actually based on a dream that I had a little while ago. It was a dream at the night and I looked up to the sky and there was like, just amazing galaxies and stars. And actually up in the sky, there was there was manta rays, like kind of like floating and flying up in the sky. And there was hammerhead sharks. And one of the manta rays would come down and like covered me and hugged me. Um, so it was like very peaceful. And, and I thought it was kind of a cool concept how we were doing something inspired by the ocean. Would you say I have my composition balanced? Yes, I would, I would like to see the hair a little bit larger, but in nature, maybe up top and give the glow. Okay, yeah. But right. I sure love those um, creatures coming forth and we we'll wanna see those. Okay, yeah, pop. Okay, great. Well, thank you. I don't always remember all of them, but they can be some really like weird ones are <laughs> like, what the heck was that about? <laughs> but yeah, I do dream a lot. Yeah, and I've been watching from far and I love everything I'm seeing. I just want you to keep it together. Don't don't get too far off the mark here. You you have this beautiful figure, but you want to make sure she's still visible coming through. Okay. One thing that I really liked about today is that I was able to just go with the flow. Like I found like good like a good process down. I felt very creative. If you have to make her dark again, okay. she's almost getting lost in the seaweed and we want to see is she, she's pulling through, she's coming through. And I, oftentimes I want to see an entire figure. So if it's 90% there, I think maybe the face might be very valuable. Yeah, I accidentally hit it with my paintbrush and I made it super bright. <laughs> maybe dark again, all okay. the way to dark and then let it dry. It's drying fast. so. I know we don't have too much time to speak about it. My biggest challenge is like when I get stuck in my head, I just like, I overthink and then I either I don't finish the painting or like I panic and like, I let my fear come through so much. It's so beautiful in every way. I love the glow and the, the detail and just keep that coming along. And I wanna say, use your favorite brushes. Now is the time to do it. Get the tiny ones out, get okay. those high brights and, and the, um, the darks in and then the highlights. Um, do you think that maybe it's time I could switch to oils or take them in a good place? Or? I would first resolve the figure. The figure first? If you want to put the face, I think it would help a lot because it's so nice in every way. And then there's no face. Okay. 
and, sh and she's important to come through. Okay. But it, I, I love it very much. Yay, okay, cool. I was just having like a really good time. Like that makes a big difference. Melissa, you got an excellent start going here. It's very dynamic, very nice design. Yesterday evening, I was completely lost with what kind of thing I wanted to uh, paint. I know that I was thinking about like the sea and layers and something with rocks. Like maybe I was thinking about a man coming out of the rocks, like kind of digging himself out of the rocks and then going through the ocean. But it was like too complicated in my head and I was like, ah, I'm not sure what to do. I do love the writing, the overlap of the fading, the drips, the shadows, everything, and the crunchiness of the shell is so, so important. You're capturing that very well. And I actually called my boyfriend, so he helped me uh, think of like the, the pearl, and that just set me on fire, and I thought like, okay, that's also something with the rock, but in a different way, like the rock goes into the shell, and then it like transforms into something super beautiful, and that was exactly what I was looking for. So this time he kind of actually helped me, so I hope that next time uh, you will also be of good influence. <laughs> I would do a lot more thick paint. It's, it's very, very important. I know it's, are you doing oils now? Yeah. Because you can still get some of that thickness in. Do you have a palette knife? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. I really thought it was some super cool advice, something I kind of had in mind already. With the oyster shell, just kind of get into the world of that feeling even though there are nice drips, just kind of get the, the volume and the shadows in there. Mm -hmm. And not just, just an outline, because we don't have too much time. I feel like there's, it's lacking color somehow. Like everything's kind of the same, I feel like. So I'm thinking about adding or more color to the background or a little bit more contrast maybe. Purples, oranges? Maybe, I'm not sure yet. I think now's the time, get it. Okay. Get it all in there and totally focus in. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Yeah. All right, artists, you have five minutes remaining in this challenge. Okay. Five minutes to finish your paintings. The good news is, though, after you're done, you can go swimming if you want. Ooh. So is it safe to assume that this has been a tough challenge? Uh, yeah, the sun the really kind of gets us. Yeah. Like, I think that they're, I wouldn't say that they're getting tougher necessarily. No, actually that's a lie. No, I'd say that they're definitely getting tougher. Not me. Okay, Bree's fine. I was really enjoying myself at the beach. I, I really was. Melissa using some of the sand. Through the process, I kind of wanted to figure out what to do with like the other parts. And that's when the sand happens and uh, when I added some, marks and some uh, palette knife to get some thick paint, like John advised me. Nicolette painting transformation with the butterfly. There was a butterfly sitting on my back during the challenge. What? You know, sad. That's so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm in something right now, but I can't figure it out yet. It's always easier afterwards. You think like, oh, yeah, that's it. But at the moment, I feel lost. I don't know. I feel all kinds of things. I feel when I see my painting, I don't feel that I'm a good painter. You know, all those feelings like I'm not good enough. Jesse, completely out of the box. Hello. <laughs> it is hard. I think once I sit down, I'm just like in my happy place. 
And I'm just making marks and colors. I love that. I kind of get in my right brain. How did I get out of it? How do I get back into the box? <laughs> Why, why did I fall off? I lost the box. <laughs> the sand is scorching my feet. Yeah. One minute remaining. Ten, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Brush is down. How do you guys feel? Relieved. <laughs> Done. Relieved. I was dying. <laughs> the painting kept flying in my face. Like she just wanted to hug me or something. <laughs> and it, I had to like hunch over it and my back was killing me. It was hot. <laughs> Who's ready to go jump in the water? Oh my God. Take my mic off. <laughs> the waves were rolling in and we got to see some animals just running around and it was just nice being out. <laughs> yeah. Feeling like sun baked and tired. <laughs> I feel like my nails are a good example of like how I feel, just like tattered. <laughs> I think I'll be eliminated today. Yeah, I don't think it's good enough. I'm a little, I'm a little worn down, but it's been a good day. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm back. I'm tired. I'm pretty tired. Wow. Beautiful. They did so well. I feel like each competition is getting yeah. much harder to judge. Yeah. I was honestly like really nervous for some reason today, like feeling like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to draw this face and just like having all these doubts. I think Jesse here really took a risk. I don't I don't know that it's, you know, the best painting here, but I really appreciate how gutsy she was putting a fluorescent orange diagonal stripe through it. Part of her is abstracted and like kind of confused, and then part of her is clear. You kind of see her body transforming. It's sort of like, yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe that's still a little bit left brain too. <laughs> but I love how the ocean comes up in the eyes and the overall feel of it. I don't know, I feel proud of myself though because I didn't actually like spin out. I was like, I'm gonna get it, it's gonna be okay. I really appreciate that she's pushing herself and I think that's gonna pay off in the long run. Yeah, I feel really good. It was so fun today. Painting on the beach with everyone. It was my first time painting on the beach. I like how Tanya didn't do collage this time because I haven't really seen a painting with her that she's, you know, hasn't put collage in there. So. She did put gold leaf though. Yeah, but it's really different than her other mm -hmm. work. So yeah. I think she's also pushing herself. The last hour, it was kind of hard because the sun was really a lot. But uh, so I wish I I added more details and things like that, but my brain wasn't working at all. It was just, ah. I love the overall feeling of the waves crashing and it's very abstract and loose, mm -hmm. but it still kind of feels like an ocean. I tried to get the idea of transformation with the girls that just have kind of half his head and just, you know, evolving and the dolphin and an explosion. I don't know, I think that means transformation for me. <laughs> Overall, it, it, it's a nice color design, but do you see this outline? There's no outline here. It, it's, there's a big outline, there's a small outline, there's a shoulder. I don't know if it's a book, I, I'm not sure. Everyone at this stage of the competition, I think things are getting, oh. It doesn't sing, it doesn't ring out to me. I like it a lot. I think everything makes sense to me. The only thing I'm not loving is how that's close to the face and it 
it feels really like squished. I'm really surprised on myself, honestly. I didn't think I would like adapt so fast. I'm really happy about that because I, I don't want to change my process. I don't want to change who I am. I'm concerned about this piece because like there's some really beautiful things about it. I love all the layers and the inks and how free it is and the general feeling of it. I love the light and I think it's unique how that light is. No one's making mistakes. Everyone's paintings are coming out so phenomenal. So it really just comes down to like the elements of art now. But the proportion is, you know, off pretty bad in here. The head should be closer, the arms too, this space is too long. There's a, a lot of moments along this, like along the way that I didn't think I'd get this far. The arm is way too long. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It looks like she gave her two elbows. <laughs> or that is supposed to be I think the that's the armpit. armpit. Okay, okay. Yeah, there's something definitely off the here. The space between here. here and here is too long. I feel like this painting works far away, but then when you get up close, you see the, the things mistakes, that are really yeah. off. And it's sad because I feel like she sabotaged herself maybe a little bit, but in the beginning, this was my favorite painting out of all. And she had the proportions correct. So I don't know mm. where that came from. Maybe she just overworked it, it looked like. And the jellyfish were more transparent. And I was thinking that's such beautiful symbolism with the whole theme of this challenge. I thought jellyfish is a really good symbol, but I just, I'm sad that she kind of just overworked it in my opinion. If I get eliminated next, I'll feel super proud of this painting because I was able to just enjoy the process. So versus like, I just don't wanna go out on a painting that I was overthinking and had so much anxiety about. Like I wanna, I'd rather go out on one that I enjoyed doing. I think this is nice, it's well done. It's, you know, a bit on the simple side or easy side mm -hmm. compared to others, but it's well done. I think she took a risk with the putting sand on there. And normally I wouldn't like that at all, but you know. I thought it was gold for a second, like the gold flecks that you can put on paintings. Yeah, I really love the sand that's underneath there. It's like it, I took a part like the beach, like took it home and have it be a part of the painting. Visually it does work. I just think quality wise, it doesn't. And I know Melissa is all about quality, so. It could work if she did a very thick varnish on top, it would totally keep that That's in place. true, that's so, true. Or okay. resin or something. Yeah, but resin or. I do like the elegance of it. She's the only one who didn't paint a face. Right. So I think that's saying something. She kind of took a risk there. I really wanted the pearl to stand out. So that's where I made the most contrast or the glow. The portraiture, I would say, is getting very redundant. Yeah. And you wonder, can these guys do something besides a portrait? Yes. I don't think it's my best painting, but I'm happy with it. But because the other contestants are also strong, I feel like I might be, hopefully I'll be like in the middle somewhere. I think Katrina's is really great, really fantastic. I don't love where she put her signature. I think that's a bad idea. And I am getting a little bored of her color palette that's same, same all the yes, time. Yes, she uses a lot of green. The paint just dried so fast. It's like basically I put it on my brush, it was sticking to my brush and dry. <laughs> so it's like keep squirting out more and more paint. So it was very challenging in that way. And then after a while, it was just like, I was so exhausted from the sun. I just started shaking and the whole last half hour, I was shaking like a leaf, so I couldn't really paint very well. <laughs> Judging these paintings as they're all together in a group, hers is definitely the one standing out. Yeah, absolutely. And it really hits the theme. And it's really done with excellence. Yeah. And I love how the hair feels like an octopus, but also hair. It, she didn't illustrate the ocean, but it definitely feels like that. Yeah, yeah. To get that particular vision I had in my dream to get it on canvas. Sometimes it's hard to get it exactly how I want it, but I'm happy I was able to finish it and refine it at the end. I wanted to see a little thicker paint. It's, it's you always quite, quite see thicker dry, paint. dry brush technique. It's coming along, but make sure to use your time wisely. Yeah. So far, you're, you're doing it. Just maybe a little more thick paint, a little more thicker. Um, in the forefront, okay. Thank you. 
I think that has a lot through. of thick paint on it, personally. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> when I see the canvas texture show through, it's a little too thin. I don't know, probably where it usually falls, like in, in the top three or four, like the top three, I think. I don't expect to win. I know I had, like, I struggled big time with the painting. What about this? Is this thin? Very thin. <laughs> I love how thin this is. I think yeah. that's what makes it so beautiful. I think it's beautiful. My painting was more reflective. It was more thinking about what are some of the things that are going on in life that help me to grow, that have caused me to think differently about just life in general. If I just kind of cover up this sort of, this looks juvenile to me, you know, like a little girl's room. From here up, I, I love it and it might even be my favorite. But for me, the bottom doesn't fit in mood or it just it looks like it belongs to a thought. different painting. Yeah. She's kind of like fading into the top of the water, which is my sea inspiration. And just kind of transforming into this like fluid idea of like a subconscious mind. And then I also added in some butterflies to um, really push the idea of transformation. And they're a little wispy and a little bit more suggested. She's very good at proportions. Sabrina mm -hmm. always has nice proportions. Uh, yes. The idea of butterflies as transformation has always been really powerful to me because of the fact that caterpillars basically are in the cocoon, demolished and then reinvented as butterflies. So I think this is a really powerful metaphor for transformation. I think Bree's pain is very beautiful. I also kind of wish she would push herself in the color. She tends to always choose dark colors and then a lot of white. So I would like to see her really mix up her color schemes as well. I realize I can paint like some paintings in four hours. <laughs> when I would take much longer to do that in the studio, it's like, dang, I can't do it. <laughs> The only thing that kind of bothers me with this painting is how the outline is kind of the same throughout and it's the same width on everything. So I wish she was just more creative. Like here it's starting to change where it's fading. I think she could have done a better job with that. I just probably not as fast as I should have been moving. I just think I could have gotten maybe some more brush strokes in there, some more variations in the whites a little bit more. There's. There's nice aspects to it and, and color and design, but this yellow stands out from everything else and I have a problem with uh, the neck area and the symmetrical figures. It's funny, we all see something different because I, I actually, my favorite nice part color. of the painting is how the neck is sort of disappears, almost like a floating head. And normally a tangent edge like this is is terrible, but it makes the piece because it continues the dark through it and it keeps the head intact. And I, mm -hmm. I just, I think this is my favorite part and I think it's really well done. I think it would have been better if these weren't in there at all. Mm. Yeah. And these little squiggly jellyfish as an afterthought feels. I wish she did more jellyfish. Yeah. I just don't think it's as strong as the other ones, just to be honest. So that's why I think I would be eliminated. For Nicolette's piece, overall, I feel like she wasn't really pushing herself with this theme and challenge. And she went with something very comfortable and easy for her. Uh, not so good. I, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing and uh... I try to push myself to paint faster and create more texture, use palette knives. I don't know. To me, proportionately, with yeah. her There's back, it's... Way too many vertebrae in there. It's just too long, yeah. Yeah, the back's long. I, I don't really like how this is, like, the composition, I, the wing ending there, and it not being positioned on the back. This wing should be bigger. I struggle a lot with not having that much time. I was not happy with the source. Um, it was so rushed. I think she did a really good job, though, on the face. Like, that's a tiny face. It's it's really well done. And the hair. I Yeah, I know you, you want hair like that. Mm -hmm. But the face feels sad to me. Yeah, I get the feeling that this is a... It feels sad. Mm -hmm. There's a sadness to this painting. 
I got emotional from it. I don't know why, but, and I, I couldn't get out of it. Still like a bit, a little bit down. Well, I, I feel it's a little stronger than some, but overall this is um, interesting how the pattern affects the situation here, but this throws me off. There was just not enough time to really feel about it and was so tired yesterday. Um, yeah, so this is it. You have to take risks. Painting on the beach, as we know, is very difficult, but I think they all did a really great job. All these paintings are beautiful. It's another very hard decision for us, but I feel confident in my choice. Yeah, me too. I feel confident in my choice. All right, artists, come on in. <laughs> well, I know that you all had a super exhausting day. The beach is exhausting and can, you know, take it out of you when you're just playing and having fun. But you guys all were putting your hearts onto canvases today. And I commend you guys for still having the energy to even show up right now. <laughs> so we've completed five challenges. And as you guys all know by now, with each challenge brings another elimination. Unfortunately, honestly, it breaks our hearts having to eliminate one um, every challenge, but you know, that's just the way it is. At the end of this show, there can only be one outstanding artist, even though you all are amazing and incredible people and artists as well. So with that being said, the judges have some words for you. I really think you all did such an amazing job today and like every challenge, but this one, it was difficult painting the sun and having sand and wind and things blowing over, but you guys pulled through and each of you created a masterpiece and it is so tough for us to eliminate one of you. For me personally, this has been the most difficult challenge to vote someone out because I feel like a lot of the paintings, it was just very equal and it, it took us a while to judge. And so this was very tough. We have all passed through the threshold and we have faced our giants and we've gotten to the other side. And so it was so interesting to me to see how you each interpreted the idea of metamorphosis and change and what happens after we pass through. So we loved your paintings. We thought they were really great and we can totally see your heart and your effort, and we're sad to see one of you go. As a judge, when you are critiquing each painting, you have to weigh it out very carefully, and we each have different perspectives, and so I hope each of you will understand the results. No matter what happens, you are all excellent artists. Just roll with it, and we're gonna see what happens next. Well, it's time to get to the elimination. So the first three artists that we're calling forward are Katrina, Sabrina, and Jesse. Please step forward. Congratulations, you've all made it on to the next round. And Katrina, congratulations to you. You won this challenge. I am feeling so good and it's amazing because this this challenge was like so meaningful to me so I am really um, just so happy. Thank you. <laughs> I was always kind of just there, almost there, you know, and I was just like, oh, just keep going, just keep going and finally eventually you will win something, you know. And so I just kept pushing through despite exhaustion. Tanya, Brie, Melissa, please step forward. Congratulations, the three of you are also safe. You're gonna go into the next challenge. Thank you. Nicolette and Anna, please step forward. I'm very sorry to say, 
but Nicolette, you won't be moving on to the next challenge. No. I struggle my way through the challenges all the time. And this time, I don't know, I just feel exhausted, empty from everything, all the emotions in this house to push myself or have to push myself so hard to something that's just not me. That's not, my art isn't getting better from that. You've done an amazing job in this competition. And as you know, it's not over yet for you. You'll have your chance in the Redemption Challenge along with the rest of the eliminated artists. Congratulations, Anna, you're safe. I knew it was going to be an emotional roller coaster, and I believe this whole show, it is what it is, you know? It is in God's hands. Uh, I made it to episode five, so I think it's good. Nicola, you are a really great artist, and you create really beautiful things, and the women that you paint are truly beautiful and they have such a transformative quality to them. And I am personally a big fan of your work. I think under the circumstances with just a four hours to paint and not, you know, the ease of your home studio and normally spending 20, 30 hours on a painting, you know, some of those proportions just weren't accurate. It was very difficult to make this decision. It wasn't easy for any of us and we thought about it for a long time, so but I also am a huge fan of your work and you are such an amazing artist. Thank you so much. Any person would be super fortunate and blessed to own your artwork. So, yeah. now I can just paint, relax, uh, practice, and we will see. I'm sorry, Nicolette, it's time for you to go. Well, it's always heavy to congratulate you after morning at the same time, but congratulations on making it to the sixth challenge. You guys will be competing in just two days once again. So get some rest, recover, practice if you want, and we'll see you in the next challenge. Well, Nicolette, you did great, but unfortunately your time is up. You will participate in the Redemption Challenge it's time to hand in your overalls. Okay, thank you. Thank you, we'll see you later. This is The Outstanding Artist. This challenge will test you. There will be no sources, there will be no preparation. With all the women, I felt super free. It was really touching. It just reminded me how much I love to do what I do. For abstracts to me, like they just kind of confuse me a little bit. It still needs a focal point, and that's something I'm noticing with a lot of people. It's freaking hot here. Are you coming over here because they believe I'm struggling? 